G'day and welcome to this drum lesson for the song Cocaine by Eric Clapton. The main thing driving the drum beat right throughout all the verses is the hi-hat pattern. We're playing one and a two and a three and a four and a. And a great way to get that if you can is to use the shoulder of your stick for all the beats. One, two, three, four. And then lift your wrist and try and get those two little hits on the ender with the tip of your stick. One and a two and a three and a four and a. It's a little bit advanced, but it's something that's definitely worth practicing because it'll give you a really great sound on the drums and make this beat sound super groovy. Now, let me break down the first couple of bars of the beat. I've done my best to figure things out, but it's a little tricky hearing some of the fills. But anyway, here we go. At the end of the next two bars is our first fill. And a lot of the fills in this song are based around a buzz roll. If you're not that confident on buzz rolls, you can check out another video that I've done where I break down the way that I think about the buzz rolls and a couple of techniques to help you get them a little bit smoother. But basically, I'm thinking one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a the whole time I'm playing the buzz roll, but just adding those extra multiple bounces so that I get as smooth a roll as possible. Anyway, let's see if we can get this first fill nice and slow. I'll show you how it goes. So that doesn't sound that clean when I play it slowly, but you can hear what it's supposed to sound like when it goes up to speed. For those accents, I'm just kind of leaning into the buzz roll a little bit. You'll hear it in the recording. There's just a couple of notes that stick out a little bit more than others, but it's not really a clean single stroke. So just keep that buzz roll going and just lean onto the beat and you should get something that sounds really close to the recording. Moving on, we're still in the intro section and I'll play the next four bars with another fill at the end. Here's that whole intro section, up to speed. Just before we move on to the verse, I can hear some very faint ghost notes in some parts of that groove. If you want to add them, they come in on the E of 1 or the E of 3, and it would sound a little something like this. If you get this beat nice and comfortable, those ghost notes might just fall in there kind of naturally by themselves, but it's completely up to you whether you add them or not when you're jamming along to the song. Alright, moving on, we're into the verse, let me break down the first four bars. So that's pretty straightforward, similar to our intro. Moving on, this is the next four bars of the verse and at the end, we're just starting to launch into the main hook of the whole song.
If you're familiar with the song, you'll know the hits that we're up to, and in between each of those hits, we're gonna try and bring back that buzz roll and just keep that sizzling underneath until we have to pop out and hit that crash the ball again. From there we go back into the riff again and at the end just before we go into the verse there's a fill that's slightly different. Keep using the same type of beats and the same type of fills but at the end of the second chorus we have a slightly different stop using a triplet. Sounds like this. And then after that, we're moving into the guitar solo section, but there's one more fill before we hit it. Now we're into the guitar solo, and the driving part of the drum beat moves from the hi-hats over onto the ride cymbal. We're gonna accent the end of one and then play a slightly syncopated pattern in the second half of every bar. Let me break down the beat slowly and hopefully you can grab it. Here's that loop a little bit faster. The first fill we have in the guitar solo is, you guessed it, buzz rolls. We're going to have accents on beat 2, beat 3 and beat 4, but it's just that thing where you kind of lean on the buzz roll a little bit. The next fill I'll show you comes in just before the second guitar solo. You hear the guitar tone kind of changes, and this is like the second half of this whole section. So again, it's those buzz rolls, thinking in 16th notes, and then trying to pop out at the end so that you can get those nice single strokes happening as well. Here's one more fill before we go right back into the verse. From there, it's back into the verse. When we get to the chorus, it's the same hits as we did the first time, just like this. And then before we hit the guitar solo again, which is just going to fade out and take us to the end of the song, there's one more fill leaning on the accents on a buzz roll. That brings us to the end of Cocaine by Eric Clapton. It's one of those jammy songs that if you just pick bits and pieces from what I've shown you and put them all together, it's still going to sound great playing along to the song. Try and get those buzz rolls happening because I think that's a really interesting approach to fills and a couple of those syncopated patterns like over on the ride cymbal are going to be really great to add to your tool bag. So have fun practicing that one and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.